So, you see the windmill propeller is sitting there windmilling already, so that means that the wind is starting to kick up a little bit. The first thing we need to do is tighten the propellers, which I left loose for all this testing stuff. Make sure the propellers are on there nice and tight. Good. And let's put this sideways. Okay. And we need a, a battery. balance but we'll check it out again because the CG is very important so let's put this on find the uh, find the CG marks which are right right here Pretty good, just like that. Okay. So let's tighten down the battery. Okay. think that that is ready. So let's get our little little monitor set up out here so we can see what's going on. Flight controller and also record this flight. There we go. And we'll set that out here. Well, let's leave it here for the time being. And we need the radio. I'm the only one out here this morning. Ground is a little damp, but that's okay. All right, so I think we will turn on, go out to the side here. You always get a little first flight, first flight jitters on any anything, whether it be a, an airplane or a drone or whatever. But. Uh, that on and turn the transmitter on and we take the lens cap off the camera and now we plug the battery in
and put on the hatch. And here we go. So the first thing we want to do is we want to uh, fly it in um, manual mode, high rate, just take off and make sure the thing flies. So we're going to go out here, take my little monitor so I can see what's going on. There we are. And basically I'm looking for the modes. And here we go. It's a little wet, but that'll be okay. All right. And here we go. Whoa, it's nose heavy. It is some kind of nose heavy. I'm holding it just way too much up in it. So let's land this thing. And I am holding way too much up. Let's try to get some up trim in it. That helps a little bit. Whoa, something is definitely not right with that. Well, we got a little dirt on the bottom. And let's see what happened. I put all this up trim in it and it doesn't even look like it did anything. Okay, uh, Mitch from the future here. In hindsight, um, when I got it uh, home, I noticed that uh, no matter how much trim I put in with this new radio, it hardly moved the elevator at all. And uh, that was because I was not familiar with the settings on this new radio. And since you don't use the trim settings in setting up a quadcopter, uh, this is really the first airplane I set up with this thing. And you need to go into the radio and you need to set the trim settings to course and with no limit on the amount of trim. So what I thought was a, uh, what I thought was a um, nose heavy airplane really wasn't too nose heavy. I just needed to hold an awful lot of up stick in it to get it to fly level. But uh, in any event, when you have a brand new airplane like this and it's the first flight, um, discretion is always the better part of valor. So uh, even though I had to hold the uh, up elevator stick almost uh, halfway uh, up to full just to fly level, I thought it'd be prudent to uh, just to land it, take it home, uh, check it out, make sure uh, that all the settings were indeed correct, and uh, and that's what I did. So uh, in a day or two, uh, we'll go out and try it again. All bite a little hairy. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> we're sneaking up on it. So open it up. Disconnect the battery. And 
back. Okay. Could have been worse. Could have crashed it. <laughs> Whoa, something is definitely not right with that. <laughs> <laughs> 